So what's up, y'all? This is the video we're doing on answers to questions, letting you all get a little better idea of who I am, letting you get to know me a little better. So I put out a short, I think, last night, and I asked y'all to put some questions in the comments of things you like to know about me. Some people didn't take that seriously and kind of joked around, so there's some pretty funny comments. But other than that, we got some pretty good ones. We're going to be answering them today. So uh, let's see here. Let me find these comments. Okay. Number one. Let's go ahead and get this one over with because it's kind of funny and kind of not at the same time. Okay. So, last night he said his name is Unpol Unpolarized Toast. And what is your favorite color? Um, honestly, I'm going to say my favorite color is probably yellow. Then, ask my, adre my address and my Snapchat, my credit card number, my social security numbers. And I'll give I'll give away my Snapchat. How's that? My Snapchat is Micah Megs. Just Micah Megs. And you should be able to find me. But uh and then let me see. Comment number two. Let's see. He says his name's Kay's Kay Casby. And he says, Why are you doing this? And I'm I'm guessing his this is referring to my channel, or I guess is I guess is he's referring to um, the short I put out. Why are you doing this? Um, so that you can get to know me all, because y'all get to know me a little better. Just understand more about me. What's your favorite video game? I mean, I don't really game that much, y'all. But from what I've played, I probably prefer. Call of the Wild. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't play games that much. I'm too busy. <laughs> what is your occupation? Um, well, last summer and the summer before that, I uh, I did lawn mowing. I lawn mowed for a uh, like I mowed people's lawns for a living, and uh, it actually paid pretty good. And then this past year, last last winter, I uh, I started getting more involved in taxidermy. So now I work for a guy out probably about 25 miles from us, which is a little further than I want, but 25, 30 minutes drive, and I, I work there pretty often. Not as often as, as I used to, though. But uh, that is all of his comments. Next comment. Would you rather die, but in your next life you will, you will be rich, or do you super painfully... And be a celebrity in the next life. I mean, I would really want to be a celebrity. Honestly, that's just not my opinion. I don't. I mean, it is my opinion. I don't like to be. I don't. I wouldn't want to be famous. But would you rather die? And in your next life, be super rich. Um, sure. <laughs> Anyone wants to be rich, but I already said. I mean, I'm a Christian. I mean, I'm, I'm at least sus by saying this, but. I already will be rich in the next life because I'll be in heaven. So, I already know I'm going to die. And I already know I'm going to be rich in my next life. I don't know about doing super painful painful stuff, though. Okay, next comment. Uh, it says, what is your favorite color? It's going to be either blaze orange or yellow, like I said. Okay, what is your favorite animal? I mean, I think everyone thinks dog and cat is overrated, but I'm going to have to say a dog. Like people say they're man's best friend. I think I'm going to go with dog just because I don't like dogs. Um, what is your favorite music group? Okay, well, what genre are you talking about? Because I'm going to have to say, if we're going like Christian pop, 
or Spirit FM, such. I'm gonna have to go hike for King of Country. Um, I think so. And then, let's see, if we're doing country, either Morgan Wallen or Luke Combs. I gotta say Morgan Wallen or Luke Combs. People are. People, I think Luke Bryan is overrated. I'm sorry if you're a Luke Bryan fan, but Luke Bryan is overrated, I think. Like, everybody likes Luke Bryan. He's got some pretty cool songs, I guess. But, uh, I don't like his voice. Uh, maybe I'm being mean, but I don't really like his voice. But, uh, let me see. I think it's gonna be more going on Luke Combs. I think those two are my favorite. Next. What is your favorite animal to hunt? Um, well. I think I'm going to have to say deer. And that might be, like, too common, but deer, like, you can go coyote hunting, you can go coon hunting at night and not see a single thing or see something, but you can go bear hunting during the day, and you can go turkey hunting in the morning, but or duck hunting, or whatever, but there's just nothing like getting up early in the morning, getting your cup of coffee, getting out there, getting your stand, make sure your filming gear's ready, make sure your bow's ready, your muzzle loader, your gun, whatever, and uh, watching deer come in, seeing the deer you're not going to shoot, and the deer you want to shoot, seeing your deer and be like, that's the one I want, um, so yeah, I must, I'm about to say deer, deer's probably my favorite, and then, uh, who is your favorite YouTuber? Mm, that's kind of an easy one. Um, who is your favorite YouTuber? Well, back in the day, <laughs> so like two years ago, whenever I was like starting to like watch YouTube like crazy all the time, I was looking for like the outdoorsy guys that were really famous and I really liked. So first, I started watching Kendall Gray, Kendall Gray Outdoors. And I watched that for probably a year at least. And I was like uh, obsessed with them. I was watching the videos after I got two seconds after I got a notification. Unless I was at work. I was just watching them. And then my brother, older brother, he's in the military. And he has he's always been my like inspired to go out and hunt, trap, fish, all that stuff. He's always the one who's always he did it and he was always teaching me how to do it. So he was my he was my influence growing up. He was always motiv motivating me to get out there and do that stuff. So he started watching a channel called Deer Meat for Dinner. And that's a very famous YouTube channel. And so you guys have probably heard of it. If not, you should go check that channel out. But I think that's my, my absolute favorite right now. Like, my buddy even got me a signed hat from him back from Christmas, I think. I mean, it was my birthday. I think it was Christmas. But uh, I watch him all the time now. He's... He's, like, one of the few YouTubers that are actually, like, they're clean, they're really cool to watch, they do really cool stuff. I think he's my favorite out of all YouTubers right now. And then there's the small ones, like, channels like mine that are kind of small, and they do pretty cool videos, but I think DM Meat for Dinner is going to be my favorite YouTuber. But anyhow, let's see what's next. How old are you? No, like, that's not right. What made you start your YouTube channel? Heesh. Um. I think a lot of different reasons, actually. I think I started it. I started a channel back in February of last year. But then my channel got, I think, deleted or I didn't post on it for forever. And so, or upload, sorry. And so I think it either got deleted or something. But. It was the same name, but I think I only had, like, two subscribers. And then, back in October, I, after, I had upgraded phones and everything. And I, we were getting new internet, all that stuff. And after we did that, I re-got re my YouTube channel going. And you all have just been a blessing. You've just taken off and just... I may, I may not have a million subscribers, but I have a lot more than I did. And y'all just keep subscribing and liking and commenting. And I love to read your comments. Thank you. But... Let's see, what made me start the YouTube channel? Last year, I was more into, like, squirrel hunting and, like, just doing stuff outdoors, but I never really knew what to do for a video. Whereas this year, 
I have too many ideas to make them all happen, so. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm not so camera shy as I used to be. I don't know. But my YouTube channel is definitely taking off, and I started it just because I love the outdoors, so. Like, I love being outdoors. I love camping. I love hiking. I love trapping. I love hunting. I love fishing. I love pretty much anything outdoors. So, but, uh. I think, that's, I think that's probably what made me start my YouTube channel, just because, and also watch other people's YouTube channels, maybe really want to start my own, but I didn't know how to edit, didn't know how to upload, didn't know how to do a lot of things, so I had to teach myself, I took an online class about, I think, midsummer, and it helped a lot, but um, I don't know if it really helped me as much, but it definitely helped me more than it, definitely more helped me more than I thought it would, but I don't know, I think just, I started the YouTube channel trying to get every trying to let everybody else in the outdoor community see what I was doing and try to get encouragement and stuff. And now I just enjoy doing everything I do and I think it's cool that I could bring all of you along on everything I do and still I can still do it all and bring hundreds of people along with me. So I think that, I think that's why I started it though. But uh next comment. <clears throat> Let's see. And then this is how old are you? If that's not too personal. Um, I'm 15 years old. Uh, my, my birthday's midsummer. Or, no, my, my birthday's early summer. So, I turned 15 this past summer. And we will be turning 16 this summer. So, yeah, 15 years old. But, uh, what is your number one goal in life? You guys, you're making me think here. Um... Number one. Like, I don't know, there's a lot of goals I have, but they're all different related to different parts of my life. Um I'm gonna have to say number one goal in my life. <laughs> Probably to do my dream job someday and have a family and have land. I've always been kind of like nervous or scared that by the time I'm old enough to get land, I won't have land or something. I don't know. It's probably a stupid thought, but uh, I, yeah, I think that'd be it. I think that'd be a goal in life. To do my dream job and have a family and or a, a, a ton of land or something. I've always, I just want a lot of land of my own. But, uh, I think that's never one goal of life. What is your favorite sport? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite sport. I I played soccer last year, but I didn't really like it, and I only played for half the season. So I don't know. That was the only sport I've ever played, though. I don't I don't really care for sports that much. I mean, I, I enjoy watching football for sure. But... <coughs> Excuse me, but uh. I'm not really into sports that much. If hunting's a sport, then hunting's my favorite sport. I know fishing is kind of considered a sport sometimes, isn't it? I think when you when you make hunting sound like a sport, it sounds bad, like you're out there just to kill the animals or something. Hunters get a bad rep when I think when hunting is considered a sport. Fishing is considered a sport and it's okay. So I think fishing, or I think shooting is considered a sport too. So I, yeah, I think <laughs> fishing and shooting are my favorite sports, y'all. So yeah, now that I know that. <clears throat> What do you want to do with the future of your life? Um, I kind of answered the question before I arrived, saying do my dream job, but that's like a goal. I don't know. Let's see. I feel like everybody at my age has everything they, they know what they want to do the rest of their life. And by the time they're able to do it, their their ideas change. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think hard. Let's see. If I say right now that what I want to do with my life is live in a cabin in the woods, hunt fish, and be secluded off in the sticks, um, I might not feel like that in 20, in like 15 years or so, whatever. So I think my number one, wait, no, I, I what I want to do in my future, my future, my life is, I think, um, 
not live in the city. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, all that are living in the city, but, uh, yeah, I can't live in the city. Sorry. Um, have a family, have a job. I don't know. Continue hunting and fishing forever. <laughs> I never get tired of it, guys. You guys have probably noticed by now. But, uh, I think, I think, I, yeah, I think that's just, I don't really have anything that, I, I don't have, like, a super goal in life, like I said before, that I really want to live up to right now, like, like, a dream job. I don't know what I want to do for my dream job yet, but, uh, anywho, next question. Why do you trap animals? Um, I kind of feel like this guy is not liking me trapping animals, so I'm not going to like break community guidelines or anything, but in my latest videos, you, you've probably seen that we have a lot of animals around here, and so when I trap them, I am, I'm not killing every single one I trap, I often let them out, as you saw that went out in the past video, but I trapped them because they're a nuisance. And I don't trap them unless they're a nuisance. And to maintain the population, because a lot of times uh, people just expect them to die like they're supposed to, and they don't, because there's so much human food around that they can just survive. So they thrive, and there's too many of them. So we don't have that much that, that big of a problem with them, though. But mostly it's opossums and and such, just because they are though. They'll eat anything, pretty much. You don't have to have a specific food to them. So, if they eat anything, they can become a nuisance because, I mean, there's a lot of pets people have. I know coyotes eats cat, eat cats around here, but we have a lot of feral cats. So, I don't know. But, uh, that's why I trapped them, guys. Just because we have too many of them. I don't trap them unless we don't, unless we don't want them around here. But, uh, yeah. I think there's one more on here, actually. What's your number? Ooh. Somebody wants my number. Either I, either I have a secret admirer, or somebody wants to, like, hack into my social security account or something. You just can't really do that with a number, can you? Um... I can give you my area code, but I can't. I don't know. Should I even? My area code is 276, but I can't give you my full number. Sorry. You can probably find it if you Google me. You guys have probably done it before. I think that's all of them, but, uh, yeah, oh. I think that's all of them, actually, but, uh, I mean, yeah, I start this YouTube channel trying to not gain subscribers, likes, comments, all these followers and supporters and fan mail and such, but I just thought it was cool to bring you all along everything I did out in the woods just because it's always been my dream just to spend my life doing what I what I enjoy. But uh, the fact of bringing you all along, that's just, that's just neat. Subscribers are a bonus. Comments are a bonus. Likes are a bonus, but... A bonus I can I can have a part in by earning them somehow. Depends on what what I sh what I show you all. Uh, my captions, my hashtags, things like that. Those can help. But it's you all that actually give me the the followers. It's you guys that give me the likes and the comments. And I really want to thank you for that. It's been amazing. Today I hit 130 subscribers. That's not a lot, but it's more than I had a week ago. I think a week ago I only had 60. So. Everyone's everyone's going in and subscribing, and I really want to thank you for that. But uh, I think right now I think we're done. If I I can do I can do another video and ask for more questions. But y'all came up with some cre some creative uh, questions, and I hope I answer them as good as I possibly could. I tried, but uh, I got, I got a new video coming out really soon, so I want y'all to stay tuned for that. But uh, as for now, I think we're gone.